We made a day trip to visit Punaga Zong during our visit to Bhutan. We took our bus from Thimphu via Dotchula Pass to reach here, which took about two hours. Punaga Zong is situated across the confluence of Pochu and Mochu rivers. Yeah, of course. After we arrived, we took a short walk across the Basam Bridge to the main entrance of Punaga Zong. It is the most beautiful zong we have visited in Bhutan. After crossing the bridge, we entered the zong through a heavy wooden door which led to a wooden stairway and eventually took us to the outer courtyard. I will take for you. So during the time of the founder of the country, the country was divided geographically in three regions. In the entrance on it, at, at the entrance of zong and temples and monasteries, we always have this four image. So these are the four guardian king or the four guardian deity of the four cardinal point, like east, west, north, south. And the one behind that prayer wheel with the sword is the guardian deity or the king of the south. And then with this uh, traditional guitar here, is the guardian deity or the guardian king of the eastern direction. And then over here, with the victory banner and then the mongoose, holding mongoose, this is the guardian deity or the king of the north. And behind that, again, prayer wheel, with the stupa and the snake, that's the guardian deity or the king of the west. Huh? What century? Uh, 15th century. Oh, What's the name one? of this? This uh, different name than this one? That one? Yeah. That temple we call it Zong Chung. Zong Chung. Zong Chung, which means a little small zone. Small zone? Oh. Yeah. So it was actually a temple built by Indian saint. So it's a Hindu? Uh, no, it's a Buddhist master. Buddhist ah. master. Yeah, Buddhist master. So that's another story again. <laughs> so here... Why uh, he built here? Yes, uh, Why he chose here? He found the temple actually here. Hmm. So this marks the importance of the place. Like zones and monasteries will have such kind of a flag. Hmm. In front, beside the natural flag. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. So please. Friends. But if we have this painting in the house, we'll have a harmony among the family members. The outer courtyard, which is the first courtyard, served as the administrative center, featuring a large white victory chorten and body tree. The middle courtyard is reserved for the monastic quarters. It is where the monks' main temple and living quarters are. The inner courtyard is where the sacred remains of the Rinpoche are kept. The walls of the zongs are embellished with intricate carving and paintings. These murals depict various scenes from Bhutanese history and folklore, as well as the life of Guru Rinpoche. Uh, 
Besides Punaga Zong, we have also visited other places, notably the Tiger Nest Monastery, where we have a video. This channel also has other videos about traveling within Malaysia and some other countries. Check it out if you like to travel, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.